What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of me realistifying video game enemies. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blaze from Minecraft. Another one of my favorites. He's really, there's not a whole lot going on with him. He's basically blaze rods and a head so it's pretty easy. But I had a lot of fun doing it. Make sure to like, comment down below what enemies you might like to see in the future and of course be sure to subscribe. Um, only about 20% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you'd like to join that 20%, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and also, I have links for all this Photoshop art down in the description below, so if you would like it for any reason, feel absolutely free to go ahead and take it. So, with all that being said, let's get started. So starting out, we got this metal rod that I found. We'll be using these as the blaze rod. Um, just going ahead and cleaning it up a little bit, getting it a little more straight, get all the imperfections out of there. And then we're going to go ahead and color correct it to a nice golden flavor. Just clean up all these edges a little bit more. Make it look nice and pretty. Alright, once we got all that done, make sure it's nice and straight. We're going to go ahead, duplicate it, move it around a little bit until it looks there, they're about right. Then we're going to drop in our, our skull. Skull I found, it has a screw going through it to kind of keep it in place. So I went ahead and removed that, color corrected it to this horrible, horrible yellow. That's going to pretty much be there the entire video until the end when I finally realize how ugly it really, really is. And I fix it. So... Starting out with the smoke, just drop in a ton of smoke, and then uh, I'm going to have to get two layers of the, the blaze rods. That way they're, they're kind of intermingled with the smoke and they're not all just kind of behind it. And I mean, already starting out, other than, you know, the horrendous color, you can kind of tell what it is. Like I said, this guy, he's there's not a lot to him, pretty easy. So Blaze do have eyes, but this guy doesn't, so I went ahead and kind of went with the glowing eyes that I've been doing, and I really like it. Um, darkened out the eye sockets and the nose and everything, give it a little bit of an extra effect. And we're just going to kind of darken up the Blaze rods, um, add a little bit of a shadow here and there on the skull, kind of make it pop a little bit more. So originally I was going to go over the ground with like this sand and this organic overlay that I found that's really weird for the nether rack. Uh, it just didn't look right. So I ended up finding another dry it out sand image, ran that organic overlay, and it looked pretty similar to nether rack with a little bit more of a disturbing feel to it. So I really like it. From there I'm going to start dropping in boulders, um, a cliffside, you know, get all my background pieces in place so I'm just gonna kinda move these around um, I figure this giant rock wall would kinda look decent off in the distance in the background because you know the nether's kind of enclosed and then I found this castle that I thought would represent a fortress pretty good so take me a nice long time to cut it all out get all these windows cleared out and then I will drop that back here and then uh, you know start coloring correcting it and see how it looks and overall I think it looks pretty good then I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a uh, a field blur to it and kind of blur it out because it's kind of off in the distance you don't want it to be too too clear and I go crazy with like this bright red fog that's just grody. Don't worry, we fix that too. Do the same thing with the ground, give it a little bit of a field blur at the very back so it kind of looks like it's uh, off in the distance and it's starting to fade away. Distant fog, because why not? Now 
basically just a lot of color correcting, adding shadows and stuff until hopefully it looks right. Drop our blaze back in, see how he looks. Um, I'm gonna add some fire. I like fire; it looks good, looks cool, and uh, it turned out super epic. I put a put a big chunk in his mouth here and give it a hot glow here in a second, and you know I think it really brought the picture to life. Gonna add a fire in the background as well because I know the Nether is kind of like Minecraft's underworld, so I, I think it gives it that nice feel about it so give it all a nice hot glow color correct the skull make it look a little bit better finally and then just kind of add in the final touches add blurs to some of the rocks make sure they're kind of off in the distance and then we're going to add a highlight on the ground and on the rocks so they kind of stand out a little bit make it look a little bit better Then we're just going to add in the final touches. And then this one's pretty much done. Run it through the camera raw filter. Make sure everything looks good. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching the video and hanging around to the end. Like I said at the beginning, these are now available for download in the description. So if you like it and want one, feel free to take it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what enemies you'd like to see in the future, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.